C to the H to the L O E E E. Just Chloe. Hey everyone, welcome back to Just Chloe. It's me, Chloe, and today we're gonna be doing another pop and cooking Japanese snack making video. So I thought that on my donuts pop and cooking Japanese snack, it got a lot of views. People really liked it, so I'm here for another one. This time we have waffles. Super adorable. We're gonna try my very best on making these. Hope they turn out really cute and good. So let's get started on making the puppy cooking Japanese snack. Gonna be a long video warning, so let's get started. The instructions are in English. Good, thank God. So let's open this up. Wow. So here's the package. So adorable. Love these. As you can see, my light on the back says, let's taste. And I have my ring light on right now. All right, so here we got four package powders. We got some sprinkles here. We got more, and then we got a spoon. And we got this, uh-oh, this looks like an icing bag. You know, from my donut video, I'm pretty bad at it. All right, so let's check out the instructions. First, we have to cut apart tray as shown in picture. So it looks like that. So that's great. So we're gonna cut off this. We're gonna need some water. So, um, and then we're going to cut open. Uh, I'm confused. What are we doing? Okay, so we're cutting open this. Uh oh, like this. All right, so we're leaving that and then we're gonna cut these. We're going to cut like this. Mm. So these are the mold, the heart molds. This is what they look like, there we go. And we're gonna cut open this as well. Starting off a little bit boring because I'm just cutting it, but it's gonna get fun. So we got two of these molds here and then we cut open this and then we're gonna start making. I'm gonna get some water and we're gonna get started. All right guys, so I'm back. So I got a plate here to start and I, didn't, I don't have a water bottle. So I got this adorable cup here with a golden handle um, with some water inside. So we're gonna get started. All right, so. Step number one. So we're gonna get this. Um, yeah. Okay, so add a full triangle cup of water to section this. Um, add powder from the yellow packet. Mix until the powder is gone. Knead the dough and shape into a ball. Put the dough ball between the wa waffle mold. Close the mold and pinch it to the mold. Repeat steps with powder from second yellow and brown packets. So here it is. Okay, so so only one triangle here. Yellow packet, this one, right? How many yellow packets are there? Oh, there's two yellow packets and I think they're the same thing. Yeah, they are. So I don't wanna, okay, there we go. So get all the packets on the bottom first. I got a plate, a big plate, because I knew that I feel like it's gonna be a little bit messy. So I'm gonna, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to let you guys see it. Okay, here. So I'm gonna pour it in the container. That was a smooth pour. Okay. Now we are going to need, uh oh, this is here the water part comes. Gonna hope we don't spill. Spill because we don't have a water bottle, we have a cup, like a little cup. So just pour a little bit. In. Oh God, I'm scared, I'm scared, oh. Okay, some of it got on the plate, but it's okay. That's why I got a plate because I was like, I don't think this is gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna get a napkin and kind of wipe the plate so it's not really wet. Okay, so now we need our spoon and we're gonna mix it. Mm. You guys, I love making these things. So. Is one triangle really enough? It's like not even like one triangle is not even enough, I swear. 
there's still so much powder. We might need a little bit more, but I don't want to pour so much. So I'm only going to pour like half, half maybe. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Perfect, that was half. Of course, half of it because I feel like so little water, like only one triangle. Like, what do you mean? Like, there we go. Here's where it comes. Okay, starting to turn doughy. This is gonna get really messy, guys, so warning. Wiping the water off. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So it's turning dough. Okay. So we gotta kinda knead it, like, make sure it's dough, dough, before we start. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna shape it into a, uh, the bottom has a lot of powder. Don't worry, we're gonna mix it. Uh oh, so sticky. Okay, and then we're gonna roll it into a ball. Uh oh, we weren't supposed to cut that. Oh no. I thought we had to cut the molds in half, but we didn't. Now it's kind of ruined, but it's okay. We're gonna improvise. Okay, so we got the ball in here, and then now we're going to do this. Uh oh, we're gonna do this kind of mold it. Yep, it should look like that. It should be oozing out a little bit like this, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing with the second yellow packet and the brown packet. So this is the brown packet, which is cocoa dough powder. So that's chocolate dough. So I guess we're just gonna leave it there for now while we make our second pack. Should I wash my hands? I think I should wash my hands first. One sec. All right, guys, so I just washed my hands. Let's open the second packet. Ooh. What What was that? Okay, so now we're gonna pour it all out. Pour it all out. Perfect. Now, same thing. Uh-oh, I'm kinda scared for this one. I don't know why. Don't pour, don't pour. Don't mess this up. Ugh, that's not a full one. And then we're gonna get a half because you need like one and a half triangle for it to really be um, dough. Okay, so it's already turning dough. That's perfect. Mm, you know, it smells like buttered popcorn from the movie theaters. That's what it smells like. I don't know why. Yeah, that's what it smells like with a hint of vanilla what it smells like. This one is not really, I don't want to add more water because then it's going to be all liquidy because you can still see the powder on the bottom. Like it's not totally. Okay, I'm going to grab it now. Uh oh, there we go. So <laughs> I think we should have to take out this and see how it did. Oh my gosh, <gasps> whoa, it actually worked. Don't ruin it. Oh my God, you guys, it's a waffle. Perfect, okay. Yeah, why is it what? Okay, one waffle, perfect. This one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna roll it into a ball and we're going to leave it in here. Then we're going to put this on the top, squeeze, okay, squeeze it. And then leave it there. Now, now, let's do our cocoa dough powder. So this is chocolate. You know me and chocolate love. Oops. Ooh, it's brown pat brown powder. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. Uh, we're not mix it. We need to add water. What am I saying? Don't spill. Don't spill. Oh. Uh oh, I'm gonna need a napkin. I don't wanna get water on my waffles, cause that's gross. So we're gonna, we're gonna. Sorry guys, this is gonna be boring this. Once we get to decorating, this is gonna be where the fun part will be. Okay. Yo, my hands are so tired, I don't know why. Okay, uh, now we're gonna mix it. I don't know if the chocolate powder needs uh, more water too so far. 
<sighs> oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like it's dark chocolate. So good, yum. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more water, like a half more. Should I just add some by pouring? Just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Why is my hand so tired? I don't know why. Okay. Perfect, you guys. This is turning good, but you can still see the powder on the bottom. That's the thing. You can still see the powder on the bottom. Okay, this is how it looks like. This is how the powder looks like. So, in a ball. Like this. So let's check on our second waffle, see how it's doing. <sighs> pretty good, pretty good. Oh, squeeze it out, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. Don't ruin it, don't ruin it. There we go. It kind of broke a tiny bit, kind of, but it's okay. Okay, so we're going to put our chocolate powder on there now. And squeeze it till you make it. Squeeze it till you make it. Perfect, Sion. Next, we're going to make we're going to be making cranberries which the cup kind of has sorry guys, I have to like cuz there's look at all that powder dirtiness on there. So I'm going to have to Okay, we're gonna be making cranberries. So we're gonna be adding a full triangle cup of water, but I feel like a cup of water, full triangle, they mean like a triangle and a half. This is this is cranberry jelly powder. So this is my turn to jelly. And then mix it until it gets, until it starts getting syrupy. Use spoon to fill the berry molds with the mixture. Leave some of the mixture in section blank. It will become firm in 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait. So we're gonna have to kind of set a timer for 10 minutes after. So I'm gonna pour this in. It's pink, pink powder. And we're gonna add, I feel like this one, since it's jelly, you might need just one triangle. I keep missing it, oh my God. It's already turning red already. You, the triangle has like, I mean not the triangle, the spoon has water on it, okay. This is the best smelling thing I've ever seen in my entire life, oh my god. Um, is this syrupy? It's kind of liquidy. See that? What does syrupy look like? <laughs> I don't know, it's just wet, like water. Did I add too much water? I don't think so, right? I think you just have to mix it. Oh my god, that smells so good. Okay. So we're gonna be making cranberries. It's kind of turning syrupy. By syrupy, I don't know what they really mean. But it's kind of turning syrupy. Um, I'm gonna go get a timer to start for 10 minutes after we pour, so I'm gonna get it right now. All right, guys, I'm back. So, oh my God, it's syrupy. I just came back and I just realized how syrupy it is. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna put it, you see those circles? We're gonna be putting it in there. I don't want it to overflow. That may be a little bit too much. Oh my God, that's so perfect. <laughs> you guys, this might take a while. Oh my God, it's so perfect. This is so syrupy, this is perfect. Look, it's going in so perfectly. It's like not even overflowing that much. I'm so proud of myself. Go in, go in, go in. You might love it a little bit more. Go in, it's Sunday right now as I'm filming this. So, go in, go in, okay. Go in, perfect. We still have a lot left. Um, I don't know what to do with those. Cause we ran out of circles. So I guess the rest, maybe we make more cranberries later if we need. So timer starting now. Okay. So the timer has started. Okay, now we are going to make watermelon cream. Watermelon? Oh my God, watermelon. 
Whoa, that actually is really exciting. So this is, oh yeah, watermelon cream, green packet. So two full triangle cups for this one. It doesn't say what texture it should be feeling after, but it says we need to add two triangles this time. Okay, I don't want it to, oh yeah, should I like take this out? <laughs> Okay, let's take it out. Yay. So we only have three waffles. Which is actually perfect. I don't want it to spill, which it might spill a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It actually didn't spill so much. That's good. It's already turning green. Like I'm totally missing it. No! Water got on my waffle! No, 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 no. That's my biggest nightmare. Okay, we're saved. We're saved. Boy, back to LA! That was so weird. Okay. Ew, there's water everywhere, guys. I can't have water on the plate because you know me if i see water my pancake my waffle i'm gonna freak out okay uh the spoon perfect let's mix it it kind of reminds me of like um i don't know it's turning green oh my god i ate a candy before that smelled and tasted exactly like this smell oh my god that's perfect it's already turning awesomeness you guys want to check it out Ta -da! oh my hair perfect what do you do with it after i don't even know okay now we're gonna be making um we're gonna be making blueberry sauce wow okay so perfect i want to lick it off but i don't want to so wipe it off instead sorry Okay. Make blueberry sauce. All right, this is the last thing we're making. Uh-oh, this is where we have to put in the icing bag. And you know, I'm not good at the icing bag. Okay, uh, it says remove the now firm red jelly from section blank. So now firm. It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. So the cranberries that we made, like down here. <laughs> can you see them? Are not ready yet, but by the jelly. Oh, whoa. oh, it's jelly. Oh my god. Remove it. They didn't say it to do anything else with it. So, so go. <laughs> it says add a full triangle cup. Okay. Ooh, it's purple. Oh my god, this is gonna be purple. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys. I'm excited. Okay. What if I just. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna I'm scared to pour it. Okay, there we go. I didn't really get, oh, never mind. I was just about to say I didn't really get any on the plate, but as I was gonna say that, it kind of jinxed. Whoa, it's turning already. No, it's getting on the watermelon. No, some of it got on the watermelon. Oh, uh, what? Okay. A uh, full down the top of the squeezing bag and put the sauce into it fold the top back up twist the top cut off a small corner as shown in the picture okay that's great um all right so where is the icing bag oh yeah right here here it is so we're gonna put the sauce in here now some of it got on the watermelon so sad we're gonna try not to we're gonna try not to cry about it uh-oh Okay, it's really, it's liquidy. I'm pretty sure that's the texture it's supposed to be, right? It's going to take a while. <laughs> I wish we could just stomp it in there, but then we can't because then everything else is going to fall out. And then I feel like that's going to go to a total disaster. So I'm not even going to try to do that. Sorry guys for the wait. Um... You know how it is. With playtime with Chloe, this is a little bit. Boop. 
Okay, there's only a tiny bit left, but the rest of the bottom is hard to get. Okay, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it would. Okay, now we got the sauce in there. We I never know how to do this. So I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna do this and I have my handy dandy scissors and I cut a part off. Oh, where is it? It's on my waffle. It's on my waffle. Got it. Okay. So I cut a little hole in there, you can't see it. And then now we're gonna decorate it. So cut up the cut up the jelly and decorate your waffles however you like with berries, jellies, cream, sauce, and sprinkles. I'm so excited for this decoration part. Most funnest part. Okay, so this is what is this? Oh yeah, this is the chocolate waffle. So this one we're gonna add a little bit of blueberry sauce to it, just a tiny bit. It's actually coming out really nicely. That's really good. I'm happy. I'm happy for me. I'm happy for myself. Blueberry sauce on there. Blueberry sauce on there. I, don't, uh, I try to make it look pretty because I'm going to share some with my mom after this, even though she'll probably not even want to eat it. <laughs> but I'm going to share it with um, my mom because I'm, I really think they're going to like this one this time. Work really hard on it. So I'm going to cut up the jelly. Whoa, that's a jelly. It hasn't even been 10 minutes, but it's already jelly, so I don't even need that timer. Um, so I tried to make it look pretty with the blueberry sauce, but it does. I can't even grab it. Help. Help. I'm going back to LA. It hasn't. Look, like, what is this? Ooh, don't, don't. Please don't ruin. We just started. Like, please and thank you. So some jelly. We're going to add some jelly on there. And the cranberries that we added, that we made, we're going to add later. I'm not even trying to make it look pretty anymore. I'm just trying my best to make it edible. <sighs> I hope nobody gets a stomach ache. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Okay, some watermelon sauce I'm going to put on the other waffle. Mm. I'm going to get some sprinkles. My hands are dirty, so the packet is getting dirty. Woo! I don't wanna, I'm gonna pour the sprinkles in the waffle thing so I can just grab it that way. Because I don't wanna just pour it on there because last time I did that, um, all the sprinkles poured on there and there was too much sprinkles. Yay, look at this. So this is the waffle with blueberry sauce, cranberry, and some sprinkles. It's the chocolate waffle. Now we're gonna make this one. So this one, as you can see, already has some watermelon on there, watermelon sauce. Ugh. Okay, get a spoon, get some, put it on there just like so. You can't even see the waffle holes anymore. What's the point? How do you, how do people make it and you can still see the, oh yeah, because they like put it like this. But I'm just spreading it on there. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna add some sprinkles. To, wait, actually, no, that's the last part. Let's add some, what is this? Can I just eat it? Thank you. I eat it. Okay. <gasps> the cranberries. Oh my God. Ooh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, they're gonna love this. Um, they're gonna love me. Save the last two cranberries for the last waffle. Uh oh, mm, the jelly's so good. Okay, so I got some cranberries on there, and we're gonna add some blueberry stuff. Oh my god, it's a bar! <laughs> what? what I don't even know what I just said. Ah, oh, I didn't have your sugar rush. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. mm, that's good though. Okay, I just thought of the best idea for the last waffle. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh, the timer. Okay. Good. So, here's the waffle. So 
some cranberries, sprinkles, and watermelon sauce. This one, the last waffle, I'm going to do a very special creation. I'm going to do it half blueberry sauce and half watermelon. See how this turns out. <laughs> Hoping it's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna be adding more watermelon than blueberry, so. But it's turning out, it's not, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Sorry guys, can't, you guys can't see what I'm doing right now. But I don't want it to mix in with the blueberry sauce because then it's gonna get ruined, probably. So. And then I'm gonna put some watermelon sauce um, in the triangle as a little dip. So if they wanna dip some watermelon sauce. <laughs> watermelon, dip some watermelon sauce with waffles. Yeah, if they wanna do that, they can. Mm, good. <laughs> okay. Ah, um, kind of bad looking if you ask me. Got some sprinkles. And then the last cranberries will go. Uh oh. On top. These are really easy to make, but really messy. But they taste fantastic, in my opinion. Okay guys, so here we have our dip of watermelon sauce. We got, what we got here? <laughs> I can't even see. Oh, what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> um, I'm trying to lift up this third waffle I made to show you guys, but here we got half watermelon, half blueberry, cranberry, sprinkles, and uh, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Mmm, tastes good.